Good morning, students. Now we are going to discuss the structure of a skeleton. So we are discussing the aids of a skeletal system. There are four main parts we can say. That. The first part is considered as the skull. The second part we can say that the backbone of a spine. Then the third part is considered as a ribs, and fourth one is considered as a limbs. So these are the four main important parts of a, a skeletal system. We can say. That. So here, first we are going to discuss the case of the first part that means a skull. You can observe that the skull means skull is the bony structure that surrounds and protects your brain. So skull is considered as a group of a bones which will protect your brain, and the upper part is made up of eight flat bones joined together. The face and the toe contains a fourteen bones. We can say. So when you are considering the case of the skull, you can see that its upper part, this flat portion, contains eight bones, and this face and the jaw. You can observe that this part contains a fourteen bones. So, like we said, there are total 22 bones are present in the case of a skull. Now, you can observe that the teeth are fixed to the uh, jaw bones. You can observe that when we are considering the case of a teeth, so this uh, teeth portion is uh, fixed to the uh, jaw bones. You can observe that this uh, teeth is uh, fixed to the jaw bones. Then, the lower jaw bone is the only movable bone in the skull, and it helps to talk and uh, chew. So when we are considering the case of jaw bones, we can observe that this is the lower jaw bones, which is the only movable bones uh, uh, present in the case of a skull. And because of these movable bones, that means the lower jaw bones, so we are able to talk and uh, we are able to chew the food. Next up, we are going to discuss another important parts of a human skeletal system. So that is backbone of the spine. So we are considering the case of a backbone of a spine. So we can say that backbone consists of a 33 small bones called vertebrae. So when we are considering the case of a backbone, it is a group of a 33 small bones. So we call these small bones as a one name that is known as a vertebrae. So when we are seeing the picture, we can see that like this way. So there are group of a uh, small small bones. So like this way, there are group of a 33 bonds. So this is group of a 33 bonds. Each bonds we can call it as a vertebrae. So this is the way. Backbone consists of a, a group of a 33 small bonds. This is small bonds we can call it as a vertebrae. And this is vertebrae are joined with each other. So each of these small bonds are uh, joined with each other. And this is joints along the slight movement of this arm. So when we are considering the case of a backbone, backbone consists of a 33 small bones. We call it as a vertebrae, and uh, each vertebrae are joined to each other, and also the it is allows there is a slight movement. Because of this movement only, in the case of a vertebrae, we are able to bend or we are able to twist our back. Now the backbone is attached to the base of the skull. And it forms the central supporting rod for this skull. So when we are considering the case of uh, this uh, backbone, so backbone is attached to the base of this uh, skull, and it is uh, act as a central supporting rod for this uh, skeleton system. And each vertebrae has a cord. The spinal cord is uh, passes through these cords. Thus, the backbone protects the spinal cord. So when we are considering the case of a uh, vertebrae. So each vertebrae has a cord, and through that cord only the spinal cord is passing. And so we can say that this backbone protects this spinal cord. And also we call this backbone as a one more name that is known as a spine or a vertebral cord. So this is the way we can answer the case of uh, uh, the important parts of this human skeleton that is the backbone.